Architecture Essentials. I'm Angela Esposito, and I'm here in the Arsler Middle Design Studio of the Chicago Architecture Center. And we're going to do a really cool activity today because we are doing our activity with Lego. How many of you love Lego? So I have the Architecture Series Lego here. You can do it with regular Lego that you have at your house, Duplo blocks, the, the bigger Lego. Um, I would even go so far as to say that you could do this with regular building blocks or Lincoln logs. Whatever you have at home is great. And before we dive in to our design challenge today, to our Lego inspiration challenge, I wanna to talk to you a little bit about the type of Lego that I'm gonna be working with today, just so that you can understand why it looks the way it does. It's a little bit of a, of a unique or different different kind of looking Lego. So all of these in the architecture series, if you can kind of take a peek in there and look, it's all the same color. All the Lego that we work with at the Chicago Architecture Center is white. Why? Why do we use Lego that's all the same color? Well, there's a very practical reason for it. And that's so we can focus on the design and shape of our build and not necessarily what the color represents or trying to keep certain colors together or making patterns. And we're really focusing on the overall shape and design of um, the structure or the project that we're building. So like I said, you can work with whatever you have at home. Um, you can work with blocks, but today or any experience that you do at the CAC with us, um, we do use this specialized type of, of architecture series Lego. Now, before we get started, uh, I wanted to mention that this particular workshop is called Lego Inspiration. And this is one of the many workshops that you can do at the center once we're open and running at full capacity again. This comes right out of our curriculum that we do with, um, with students and with teachers when they visit our space. So let's go ahead and get started with our first challenge. At the Chicago Architecture Center, our mission statement is to inspire people to discover why design matters. but why should it matter to you? I want you to look around your house or wherever you're sitting right now, and I want you to try to find something that was not designed by someone. You're probably going to be hard pressed unless it's a plant. Everything we interact with on a day-to-day -day basis was designed by someone. Eyeglasses on your face, a pencil that's in your hands, even the Lego that you're about to build with was designed by someone. And the interesting thing about things that are designed that we use every day is when something is designed really well, it sort of becomes invisible. We don't really notice it as much. But if you've ever interacted with something that was poorly designed, you really, really notice it. Now, of course, the picture of this door seems a little bit ridiculous, but have you ever worn a pair of shoes that were super uncomfortable? With every step, you realize that those shoes were not designed well. And at the Chicago Architecture Center, we combine all of that design idea and those principles into something called the design process. And we're gonna work through the design process today as we talk about your Lego inspiration challenge. So as you can see, this particular process has six steps on it. And the first one is to define the problem. The second one, collect information, brainstorm and analyze ideas, develop solutions or build a model, present your ideas to others for feedback, and the final step, improve your design. And as you can see by the light gray arrows, they're all sort of going in one direction, where the second set of arrows on the interior kind of look like you're going back and forth. And that's exactly what architects and designers do in the real world, because they're constantly improving and constantly submitting their ideas for peer review and feedback. It's a really important part of the step to know that you can go back and forth between on the design process at any point in time. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do in this three-step design challenge is I'm going to give you two minutes on the clock and I want you to take your Lego, your blocks, or whatever building material that you're working with. And I want you for step one, I want you to build a duck. I'm not going to give you any more direction than that. Just build a duck.
All right, our two minutes are up. How did that go? Now, I purposely didn't give you a lot of instruction because step one on the design process is to figure out what your problem is, right? To figure out what your design problem is. And for this particular challenge, it's to build a duck. Now, here's a picture, a little video of my duck that I built. And you can tell me that it's good or not. It's okay, it doesn't hurt my feelings, but it's kind of a challenge, right? You have to think about the parts of a duck, what parts you choose to represent. Are you gonna build it flat or are you gonna build it 3D? There's a lot of different ways that you can interpret this, right? So our next step on the design process that we're going to talk about right now after building our duck is step number two, which is to improve your duck. So think about some of the details that you left out. Where could you add more? Could you show more detail? We're gonna give you three minutes to improve on the design of your Lego duck. Okay, we're back. Now, again, I want you to analyze your improved duck, and I want you to sort of make note of where you made changes and how you improved your duck. Because the third step along this warm up is you're gonna take this duck and you're gonna transform this duck into a store. And if you would rather transform it into a house or a school, you are more than welcome to do that. But I want you to take this duck and I want you to transform it into a building or a structure of some sort. And I'm gonna give you four minutes to build. Ready, set, go.
Okay, here we are back with the design process. You've taken your Lego build from defining the problem. What was the problem? You needed to build a duck, right? So then you had to collect a little bit of information. What does a duck look like? What are the parts and pieces of a duck? Then you needed to think about it. How did you want to lay it out? Did you want to build it flat or three-dimensionally? Where did you want to put the beak and the feathers, right? Did you want to add legs to your duck? Then you developed a solution or you built a model. Step five is if we were all together or maybe even with someone in your house, present your ideas to the person next to you. A big part of architecture and design is presenting your ideas. So make sure you get feedback from other people. And then of course, our last step was to improve on our design. So now that we're warmed up and we're sort of thinking in the way of design and architecture, I'm going to give you a handful of design challenges and you can pick one or all of these challenges, depending on the amount of time you wanna invest in this particular workshop today. So our first design challenge is to design and build an underwater hotel. Now, some things that you are gonna to wanna to think about and some coaching that we're gonna give you with designing and building this underwater hotel is you wanna think about who is this hotel for? Who are gonna be the guests here? Where is it going to be? Is it going to be in the ocean or is it going to be in Lake Michigan? How do you get inside the hotel? How are supplies delivered? How do you get oxygen through this particular hotel? So you're going to want to brainstorm a little bit uh, as you're using the design process to sort of think about not just what the hotel is going to look like, but how it's going to function. Challenge number two is no stranger to Chicago, which is to design and build a skyscraper. And again, you're gonna wanna put some thought into where is this particular skyscraper going to be built? Are people going to live there or are they going to work there? Are you gonna put elevators inside? How do you get in? You're really gonna wanna be thinking about sort of the context and the placement and the people who are gonna inhabit this space. Design challenge number three is to design and build an amusement park. Now this one's gonna have a lot of parts and pieces to it. So this one might take you quite a while, but think about again, not just about the attractions that you wanna have, but how can you maybe make this amusement park accessible to a lot of different kinds of people? What if there are people who have different abilities who want to enjoy the amusement park? What if there's people who have sensory issues and they want to enjoy the amusement park? Sort of elevate your design and sort of kick it up a little bit to think about the end user of this particular, uh, this particular amusement park. And the fourth and final challenge, should you choose to accept it, is to design and build a space station. So again, thinking about the needs of the astronauts or the people who are going to be living on this, the scientists who are going to be living or working on this particular space station. Maybe there aren't people on this space station at all and it's just controlled by you know computers it's, it's, and robots. It's completely up to you. So our four design challenges are number one, an underwater hotel, a skyscraper, an amusement park, or a space station. Now I'm gonna give you about 20 minutes and you can pause this video and come back to it at any point in time to sort of check on the images or get some design ideas inspiration. But I want you to take a moment and pick one of the four challenges and get started.
All right, welcome back. We are here again looking at the design process and just like building your duck, you have taken one of your Lego inspiration challenges and you have worked through every step on the design process. And in order to complete step five, what I would love is for you to take a picture of your completed inspiration or your completed challenge and email it to us at education at architecture.org. And in the subject line, put Lego inspiration. I would love to see your completed projects and I would love to provide some feedback for you in order to improve on your design. Thank you so much for joining us today and I hope that you had a lot of fun. I can't wait to see your projects and we'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.